Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make whole wheat pancakes and this is an oil-free and sugar-free recipe. I used to make this recipe with maple syrup in it and this is back when I thought maple syrup was a little healthier than white refined sugar but in reality I've learned that maple syrup and white sugar are just as bad for you. Um, they're both refined and processed. Um, so we're using bananas as our sweetener. Just use ripe bananas. Also for the topping of your pancakes, we use fresh fruit or frozen fruit that has been defrosted. So this is a great recipe. We have this every Sunday morning and we will switch up the topping. Sometimes it'll be strawberries and blueberries, sometimes tropical fruit mix. Once in a blue moon, we will have it with jam. And um, yeah, it's just a really great go-to recipe and I highly recommend that you try it out. Let's get started. The ingredients you'll need are unsweetened plant milk, whole wheat flour, sea salt, and that's optional, cinnamon, vanilla powder, baking powder, ripe bananas, and also fruit toppings, and that could be fresh or frozen. This recipe will make about six regular size pancakes. So first off, you want to get one and a half ripe bananas and mash them up really well. Then you're gonna add one and a half cups of plant milk and mix that up as well. So if you are using vanilla extract, you're gonna add one teaspoon of that at this point. But if not, you're going to now add your dry ingredients. So you're gonna add one and a half cups of whole wheat flour and you're gonna add a dash of cinnamon. If you like more, you can add a couple of dashes. You're gonna add one tablespoon of baking powder and half a teaspoon of salt and one quarter teaspoon of vanilla powder. I prefer vanilla powder because vanilla extract has alcohol in it and if you get the alcohol free vanilla extract it has glycerin which is sugar whereas the vanilla powder is just the whole food it's the vanilla pod that has been dried out and grinded next you're going to add your wet ingredients to your dry ingredients and mix again now your batter is ready to go on to your pan or your griddle. I'm using an electric griddle and you wanna turn it on in advance and make sure it's really hot by the time you first put your batter onto the pan. This griddle is actually a panini press as well, so I can make pancakes and paninis with it and I love this appliance. I highly recommend an electric griddle. So while your pancakes are cooking, you're going to defrost your frozen fruit if that's what you're using. And ideally you wanna defrost it the night before, but if not, um, and if you're okay with using a microwave, you can pop them in the microwave and defrost your fruit. These pancakes are done, and now I'm going to add the batter for the remaining two pancakes. Our final two pancakes are ready and it's time to put your toppings on your pancakes and enjoy your breakfast. Look how yummy and appetizing this looks. And of course, I don't eat a whole stack of pancakes all at once. Realistically, I just eat one pancake at a time as shown here. I hope you enjoyed this recipe and if you want to increase the quantity of pancakes that you're making um, for every half a cup extra of whole wheat flour you're going to add an extra half a cup of almond milk or plant milk and an extra half a banana so that's the ratio and you can make as many pancakes as you'd like so thank you so much for watching and happy plant eating